So we're playing the C major pentatonic scale. And we're going to start with the pattern that uses open strings down here on the first three frets. And uh, it sounds like this. I'll play it in quarter notes, then eighth notes. One, two, three, four. One. notes it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and one. Not a bad idea to strum a C chord once in a while while you're practicing this scale because the C major chord is a, a chord that goes really nicely with this scale. Okay so we're gonna move up the neck. The next pattern is going to be in second position. Your fingers are fanned out. You're going to start with your second finger on the third fret. It sounds like this in quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And in eighth notes, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one. And two. Next one, you're on the fifth fret with your index finger, and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Eighth note sounds like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and... up to the seventh fret and the uh, pattern sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And in eighth notes, one and two and three and four and... Okay, so now we're on the 10th fret, and the pattern goes like this. One, two, three, four. The way I think of it is your fingers are staying in line in their assigned frets, except for that one note where you jump out with your first finger play the ninth fret. You might be tempted to play the next note with your pinky, but I advise against that. I advise using your third finger because you want to think of it as jumping out of position then getting right back into position. Otherwise you can get kind of confused as to what fingers to use for the next strings. So here it is in eighth notes. One and two and three and four and... That brings us to our last pattern, which is the same as the first, without open strings. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Eighth notes, that would sound like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. So that is the C major pentatonic all over the neck. Uh, I advise learning these individually and really practicing one pattern over and over and over again. For instance, just decide you're going to stay on that pattern. Use the jam tracks that come with the uh, with this lesson, and um, or with the key of C rather. Find the tr jam tracks for the key of C, C major, and um, practice one pattern at a time. 
you're eventually going to get to where it's just muscle memory and you just automatically go to that fret for that pattern. Then you're going to find that blending, moving from one pattern to another is going to come pretty naturally. Uh, once you kind of know the, the uh, points on the neck for each individual pattern. For instance, you know, you, you immediately go to that eighth fret second finger note and then you immediately go, for instance, to the, you know, uh, third fret with your second finger for the other pattern, you're going to find yourself able to jump around and then you can start to really work on connecting them. Um, <clears throat> but that's the uh, C major pentatonic all over the neck.